This morning we're going to talk about how to um, start uh, forming swim obedience using uh, food and we're going to start measuring out our food and putting it in our vest. There's a cup and we'll do a cup and a half here. <clears throat> if you don't have a vest like this, anything like a sweatshirt or um, some people use hunting vests, those work just fine too. Anything with some pockets that you can readily access. <clears throat> so in the very beginning when the dog doesn't understand what you're trying to do, the biggest asset that you're going to have is patience. <clears throat> so we're simply going to take our dog out. And the moment that he becomes engaged, without me saying anything, he is going to receive his reward. And you can see Riker here is following me. He knows that in order to get the food, he needs to come to me. So in the beginning, all you do is simply go around backing up and then feeding. Okay, now, in order to get the dog to do some of the positions. You take the food in your hand and then if he's in a sit, you just push down until he gets into the position you want him in. So you see the food's in my hand and it's out. I only feed him when he gets in that position. So now if I want him to sit, I'm gonna put him in a down. Food is still in my hand, sit, yes. And then I lure him back into that sit. So again, one piece of food, down, sit. Yes. One thing you're also going to note that I'm doing is I'm not telling him to do it. I'm naming it once he gets in that position. So now he's in a sit. Down. Yes. Once he's in the down, I name it. Another thing I'm doing is I'm releasing him with a release marker, which is a yes. So down. Yes. I'm not expecting him to stay in that position. That's why I say yes. Therefore, I give him permission to move. Now, down, good. Sit, yes. See the difference? If I say good, that's a duration marker. It means the dog is supposed to stay in that position. But that's for another lesson. So again, real quick, piece of food in my hand. He's rooting in my hand. Down, sit, down, sit, yes. When you see the dog start to become very um, reliable here, then you can start to move on to the next few steps. Another thing you can do is wait for him to operantly do it. And this may take a moment to do it, but we'll simply walk and wait for him to do something and then reward that. <laughs> Sit. I didn't tell him to do it, he did it, I named it once he did it. Now we'll see if he does something else. Good. Eye contact is going to get reward. Good. Note that his ears are forward. We want that. We want him to be in a good frame of mind. Good. 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 I'm waiting for a down, but we'll see what happens here. Down. Yes. So now he should start going through this cycle. And if he's rewarded for all the positive things, that's what he's going to go, that's what he's going to do. <clears throat> Pulling away like this, getting disengaged is going to get him put in the kennel. So he only has a couple more seconds before I put him away if he's going to become if he's going to check out on me like this. He comes back to me, I reward him. Yes. Yes. 
hands at the side. Yes. Good. Yes. Yes. Good. Notice how he's going through these cycles here. Down. Goes through this cycle and uh, isn't rewarded. So he has that anticipation building up. So all right, from the beginning, <clears throat> luring food in front of me. I'm not calling him to me. He's coming to me on his own. Luring him to me. Then I again into a sit, into a down. Yes. I name the position when he's in it. Sit, down. Yes. I release him with a yes and I give him the food. Sit, yes. Down, yes. All right, now for the healing, my food is over on my left side. And I'm just going to walk real slowly. And I'm going to give him little bits of food as we move. Then I'm going to start naming it. Heal. Yes. Heal. Yes. Heal. Yes. Heal. Yes. Note how he turns. Do that in a moment here. He's going to use his back legs to turn. I taught him how to use his legs independently. Yes. And we'll do that in another video here. But don't be so concerned about turns at this point. Yes. Don't be concerned about the auto sit there too. You see him sitting it when I stop. This dog's a little bit past this stage. What I really want you to take from this is my hand doesn't move. There's one piece of food there. He's running in that position, learning that if I stay there, that's where I'm going to receive my meal. I don't put my hand out here. I don't put it up front or anything. I keep it right here. Eventually, you'll move your hand to the side. If he keeps focus there, good. Then he gets rewarded. Good. That's the basics of it. <clears throat> One more time. Food in your hand, rutting, push back, the dog goes in the down. Push up, he goes in a sit. Watch how I name it. Down, yes. Sit, yes. Come. Heel. Heel. Sit. Yes. Heel. Sit. Yes. Short choppy steps. Heel. Yes. Heel. Yes. Good boy, Riker. <clears throat> and finally, you can do the operant cycling. Stand in front of the dog. Don't say anything. If he's looking around and then he looks you in the eye, say yes, and you can feed him. Yes. Say yes when they hit the ground. In a down. Yes, or in a sit. If you want to name the stand, you can do that too. I'm not doing that with this dog, so I'm not going to worry about it. Sit. Down. Sit. Down. Yes. So we went through a series of different positions there. And after he was successful, I rewarded him with a large amount of food. Again, you don't have to wear anything special. You just have to be able to readily access, uh, have that food readily accessible. Get it out and reward it. Don't name anything until they're in the position. Don't 
um, call his name or anything. Just have the dog activate the reward on their own. They learn much better that way. You're not always going to be doing this. Eventually, we're going to start adding some different um, pressures there, including leash pressure, e-collar, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and we'll use uh, other videos to demonstrate that. All right, at that point, this is just the basics, luring and engagement and getting some different positions named. And we'll uh, teach you how to do some different uh, uh, leash pressures. And um, also, the next video will be how to um, get some uh, better focus and do some healing in the side. Thanks.